Okay, so I'm finishing up on my little run here and uh, just gonna go in the Tesla and uh, just have a few uh, thoughts to share about coding. Okay, everybody. So a um, couple reasons I'm doing the uh, video here in my car. Um, one reason is I have to get my lighting better if I'm gonna do videos showing my face as per yesterday's video. I'm just gonna keep it up because I think it does have some good information um, regarding uh, T-Mobile. If for some reason some people are having some issues with T-Mobile. Um, but I'm gonna leave it up because I think it could help somebody even though it's not such a pretty video. So why are we here? What are we talking about today? We're talking about coding and the fact that you don't need a expensive course to learn coding. You don't. In fact, you don't need a course at all. So let me go ahead and talk about my background and how I got started. Um, I got started many years ago. Um, out of college, I went into uh, financial sales. And um, I did well, but it was very, very high uh, energy. And it was just, it was so cutthroat. It just it just didn't work out for me, okay? No problem. Then I regressed back to something that I did in childhood, which was some programming. I always had a computer. Um, so it was a way to really keep me occupied, stay off the streets. Um, not that I lived in such a horrible neighborhood in New York City, but there was definitely um, some crowds that were not good that you can easily get involved with. So kind of kept me busy. Um, to just be in my basement on a computer doing some basic programming. Okay, literally that was the name of the, uh, of the language, basic. So, uh, moving forward, I kind of uh, channeled those uh, skills and just kind of remembering that it was fun, and I jumped into coding. Now, I really didn't have any kind of background in coding. So uh, what I decided to do was just go ahead and teach myself coding because I thought that that would be the best way for me to find a job was to create jobs, um, but was to create my own um, skill set, um, for lack of better words. So for example, rather than relying on some company to train me, I just said, you know what, I'm gonna go to it because who knows, uh, you know, as far as, uh, getting hired. I mean, who's really going to hire me because I didn't have any updated programming skills. So I went to it, bought some books. Um, at first it was so boring. Um, and then I realized that things have changed. Um, and I just really stuck to it. Um, progressing a little bit down the road after that, um, there was a, a downturn in the uh, tech industry at that time. Um, but I just continued to study and study and study. Now, um, it was books, okay? There wasn't a lot of information on the web at that time. Um, so it's just a lot of books. So, jumping forward now to today, uh, there is so much information on the web. There is so many free coding um, opportunities where you can you know, learn for free. Many of these are, are sponsored by large organizations that are really trying to um, spread the word, get people involved in different kind of uh, programming languages, uh, such as Python. Um, that's been a really big uh, one recently. Uh, another one, uh, one that I am proficient in is PHP. Now, you don't need to be a withdrawn, uh, introverted, nerdy type. Um, you can be you and learn coding. Um, there's all different types of people who um, are proficient in this skill. And there is a stereotype that you have to be kind of like a nerdy type. That's not true. You can be who you want. Um, now, the concept of coding is so broad. I mean, some people think that because you can read... Uh, um, hypertech markup language, H, AKA HTML, that you are now a coder. That's technically not really a, 
okay, it, it's a language, but it's like a markup language. Uh, if you want to get some skills, um, uh, look for a powerful language that is object oriented something like, you know, C, uh, uh, C plus, um, PHP is still ubiquitous on the web. Um, and, uh, of course, Python, which can be, um, applied to, um, cybersecurity. Um, as with other languages, I mean, any language is helpful when you are, uh, in cybersecurity. Okay. So just get the skill set down. Um, you got to get the mentality down before you can get a skill. The mentality that I can do it, I will do it, nothing's going to stop me from doing it, is what your mentality needs to be. If someone's making fun of you and saying, oh, oh, now you're going to do coding, Puh. don't listen to them, ignore them, and move forward. And let that be your fuel to actually do better, all right? Um, chances are, if someone is not encouraging you, they probably haven't made much of their life to begin with. So take those people, use them as fuel, um, go ahead and just get started. Even if it is one chapter in a book, even if it is, um, you know, three pages on a free online course. Um, but I want to mention, don't get roped into these courses where it's fifteen, twenty thousand dollars some boot camp because people think just because they're going to pay that they're just going to all of a sudden get injected with information and they're not really going to have to study because oh i paid so now i'm going to be smarter no it's just uh, a school that's taking your money and uh you know you can in my opinion learn the same with a free course so why would you go ahead and spend ten fifteen thousand dollars so these are thoughts that you have to really digest. There is no way around studying, learning. Learn by trial and error. And don't think that coding is going to be all that exciting because it's not going to be exciting. At least it wasn't for me. Maybe some people see it as exciting. It gets exciting when you understand and you can create things and you can figure things out because you understand how this happens um, how that happens, and I'm not going to get really technical. I'm just going to start talking about, you know, uh, technical aspects of the um, the inner workings of code. But uh, starting a successful company uh, was something that I did within a year of learning how to code. So that was pretty incredible. Um, and we grew, and we ended up having. Um, uh, many clients in the tri-state area, um, some of the top restaurants in the world, W Hotels, Four Seasons Restaurant. Uh, Lydia Bastianich was a major um, a customer. Um, we did a lot of work for her. Um, a video uh, processing, uh, a video club, uh, Lydia's Club, uh, e-commerce website, um, hand-coded a mailing application where she can mass email and also uh, stay within the legal parameters that at that time were just passed with regards to cybersecurity. Um, so there was a lot of different things, a lot of different needs, solutions that had to be met for different clients. But the main goal was just to increase their business. So moving forward ahead of that, developing some applications in the hospitality industry and then selling them uh, put me in a very good position uh, financially. So what I'm getting at is it allowed me to really be independent. I took time off. I did the things that I wanted to do. Um, and then I've revisited because it's something that's always been my passion. Um, but literally, I was able to get into real estate and take almost, uh, uh, you know, seven years off while still keeping up with my skills. So it's a long journey. It's a journey that you have to decide, you have to commit yourself, and you have to just do it. It's just like anything else in life. If you're gonna procrastinate and talk about doing it, whether it's getting into the gym, whether it's learning how to code, um, if you're just gonna talk about it, it's, it's not gonna be done. So get off your asses. If you have made a conscious decision that you're gonna get involved in the IT industry, and learn how to code or learn how to be a cybersecurity expert. But keep this in mind, by learning how to code, you're only gonna be a better cybersecurity expert because cybersecurity covers a very broad range of topics. I didn't just all of a sudden, um, you know, uh, jump in with no skills, but you can do that today. 
there's different certifications that will allow you to just be very specialized and not, not even really learn coding. But the reason I keep going back to coding is because it's inevitable that you are going to um, come in contact with a system where coding is gonna be to your advantage to try to figure out something. So getting something like the Security Plus certification and entry-level certification that is well-respected. Um, I have the 601, that's the recent. I also recommend the Pentest Plus. That's also by CompTIA. These are not um, certifications that require a big upfront fee. It's something that you can do and you can study on your own. You don't have to be sponsored. Now the Certified Ethical Hacker, you do have to have some professional experience. Um, I have that one as well. So if you are learning to do that and you don't have professional experience, then you have to go ahead and take their course. So it's definitely not cheap. Maybe you're looking at three, $4,000 with their course. So I had the experience, I just went ahead and take the test, took the test, um, uh, CASP I also have, um, um, that is a more advanced one, which I'm not gonna get into because this is kind of like um, a video that's focused on really motivating you to get into the industry. So if you have any questions, please post them below. I hope you choose this industry because it is an industry that's really continually taking off when other industries are not. And keep this in mind, Coding is an aspect of artificial intelligence, and this is something that I've really been getting involved in recently, and it's the wave of the future. Now, getting to the car that I'm in, it's a Tesla Model 3 Performance Edition with full self-driving and a wrap. So there's all the options, great. Let's jump to the full self-driving. Massive amounts of computing power. In fact, it's equivalent. This car is equivalent to 5,150 Mac ebooks as far as processing power. That is some serious power. The innovations that are occurring are going to be by people that are familiar with coding. Artificial intelligence is here and it's only in the beginning stages. Get motivated and get into this industry. Start coding today. Take care, everyone.